Hello, this is Scott again. So um, today we're going to be picking back up in R. Um, if you follow my series, I cover a lot of different um, analytic solutions, but right now we're we're talking about R specifically forecasting um, in R. We talked about uh, basic exponential smoothing or moving moving averages uh, last time. This time we're going to be talking about Holtz linear trend um, and do a little bit of R in our studio, um, and then next time we're going to do uh, Holtz uh, seasonal method in R in our studio as well. So just a couple of um, background comments on on these methods. So we have a couple parameters here. Um, we we had uh, L which was the level of the series, and we talked about that last time. So L sub T is the the level at time T. Uh, BT denotes the estimate of the trend or slope of the time series at, at time T. Um, and then we had the smoothing parameter, right? We had alpha, and we showed that last time. And that alpha is always bounded uh, by zero and one inclusively. And then now we have the second uh, smoothing equation with uh, beta star, and that's a smoothing parameter, and it is also bounded inclusively uh, to zero and one. And um, so, you know, as with any exponential smoothing, the the level equation here is really a weighted average of the observation y sub t, and uh, one step ahead training um, for time t. So um, let's uh, illustrate with uh, a little bit of R. <laughs> Let me clear this. So jumping into R here, um, let's look at some airline uh, data. So if we load the library FPP, um, and then uh, we have this data set uh, called AUS Air, um, and we can execute that, which gives us our, our time series. So here is the actual um, raw time series starting in, um, uh, uh, well, the, the series itself starts in 1970 and goes to, to 2016. Um, we just created essentially this uh, forecast using uh, Holt um, winners and, I'm sorry, not Holt winners, just Holt linear trend. Um, that there is a designation uh, there. So if we grab a, let's just grab a summary of that uh, and execute that. Oops. <laughs> uh, and then we get the, uh, the the forecast here and the estimates. So if you look at the estimates, we have alpha is estimated at 0.83, um, beta, you know, it's pretty pretty flat. Essentially, there is no no slope here, and so we want to kind of address that. Um, and so what we're going to do is this is one method of Holt, but there's actually another uh, method that we we had back in our PowerPoint. Um, and this method really came um, from Gardner and McKinsey. And essentially what they did is they added a dampening uh, parameter to this uh, psi. So um, what what happens here is if I have this this trend, um, this, this um, B or uh, this B actually, I think I called it beta earlier. I'm sorry for that. Beta star is the only parameter that we have. Um, this this B 
then um, I can dampen that over time and we'll illustrate an example that covers that. Okay, so switching back to, to R, uh, let me just drop some, some code in here. Um, so we are going to use this damp true function um, as part of this FPP2 package. Um, again, we're just doing Holt linear trend, um, and we're going we're going to set fee um, at at 0.9. So uh, executing this entire uh, strip allows me to illustrate that I have a Holtz method and a non-Holtz method. Okay, so this 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 first command here is just a linear trend. The second here is a dampened uh, method that was, I was just talking about it, where it's true, and then essentially we're plotting. So if you can see here in the lower right pane here, the, the blue or teal line is Holtz method, and the trend continues to go up. With this dampened method by McKinsey, we can see that the, the, the method actually uh, forecast dampens over time, hopefully that that's clear. So let's um, let's put bring some of these pieces together from last time where we did simple exponential uh, smoothing using the SES package, um, and then this time the, the two methods that we talked about. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just plot some data that's available in this package called livestock, um, and this is actually sheep in Asia in the millions. All right, so then. We can look at here's the raw data um, itself, and so what we want to do is let's do a one step ahead forecast for the three methods that we've been talking about. The the um, the SES again is the one that we talked about last time, and then now we talked about a halt, just a linear trend, and then the the actual dampened trend. Um, and so I've executed that, and then. You know, we want to um, reduce, you know, have the minimum um, uh, re residuals here. So we want to compare MSE, and we can do that. And so the MSE here down on the bottom, we see is 178 for the SES, SES method or simple exponential smoothing, 173 for the uh, just the linear trend, and it's minimized for the dampened uh, whole uh, trend method. Okay, so what about uh, mean absolute error? Um, what about MAE? So let's look at that, a different measure, and see if they're consistent. A um, little bit difference between the SES and um, the uh, linear trend, but we do get the same result in that the dampened Holt method has the absolute um, lowest uh, MAE. So if I use that method, all right, so here I'm going to use the dampened method uh, for the this model. And um, then I can see alpha is 0.999, um, almost a one, right? Because um, it's bounded by one um, beta, and beta is again very very small, and and phi 0 0.97. Um, and then let's just get a plot of what that forecast looks like. And if I do that. Um, I can see what the the particular forecast for this this method in is with the bounds, the 80% confidence bound and the 95% confidence bound here, um, which looks seems to be reasonable. Anyway, I I don't want to prolong this particular video again I'm probably going to circle back I'm going to do the full series and then I'm going to come back to these topics and take a deeper dive into each one of these if you have um, additional uh, interest in in these particular uh, 
topics. Um, so next time we'll be talking about Holt Winter's seasonal method. Um, you can always send me an email if you have questions. Thanks.